So let's look at how we can make a Fresnel shader in Maya. There are plenty of ways to do something like this, and there are some built-in ways, but um, sometimes it's good to build your own because it gives you a little more flexibility. So um, let's start with a an Arnold shader since we're in Maya 2017 and we're using Arnold now. So we'll use the AL Surface Shader. It's not one of the ones that comes bundled with Maya, but you can download. And it's a great shader, very flexible. So what is a Fresnel shader? Well, Fresnel means um, the angle of viewing is going to influence the transparency or reflectiveness of something. So the idea, if you're looking at a lake uh, from shore, as you look, as you're gaze sort of skates over the surface and the normal of the surface, so the lines that would come perpendicularly out of it, are running at right angles, almost right angles to your point of view. And so the surface of the lake seems reflective, so you see a reflection of the sky in it. But if you walk up to the edge of the lake and look down into the lake, so your uh, angle of view is aligned with the normal of the surface, so the perpendicular line coming out of the surface, then you can actually see through this transparent material, the water. And so you don't see the reflections, but instead you see transparency. So that's Fresnel. The angle of viewing will influence how something is perceived, in that case to do with reflection and transparency. But we can use the same concept and apply it to anything in a shader in Maya. So first of all, actually, before we do that, let's make an object to apply to. And we're going to make a, not a complicated object, but a slightly complex object. So cube, uh, mesh, and we're going to smooth this a few times. OK. And then we will use a great little deformer, the texture deformer. And we want the direction not to be handled, but to normal. So it's going to point out from the surface. And then in the texture slot, we can choose something like noise. It's kind of a great alternative to doing a displacement map or something like this. Then I'll smooth it again just by hitting three. So there we got a nice little Ferrero Rocher cell. So just imagining this is some kind of cell, I guess. But um, so let's take this. AL surface shader and just apply it to that thing. This is the noise that we're using. This has nothing to do with the shader. Let's get that out of the way. So let's just map this again. But to make a, a Fresnel shader, or a Fresnel texture really, we want to first create a ramp. So just a ramp texture. All right, and so what does a ramp do? It just goes from one color to another, and you can have lots of colors in between, whatever you want. Um, and just like any other 2D texture, it's got a place 2D texture node that helps define how it's placed onto the surface of an object according to that object's UV layout. But for this, we don't need that thing, so we're just going to delete it. Instead, what we're going to use is something called a sampler info node, famous in Maya for its utility. And the sampler info node, if we just kind of zoom in here, it does a lot of things. So what it essentially does is when Maya is about to render an image or while it's rendering an image, it calls for information from the scene. So the, this node is sampling the scene, essentially. Um, so things like facing ratio. And in fact, this is the one that we want to use. The degree to which an object's normals are pointing toward the camera or pointing away from the camera, the ratio between them, stated as a value between 0 and 1. Flip normal, normals that are pointing towards the camera and those are pointing away, or the inside of an object versus the outside of an object. Position of the camera, position of an object, all sorts of things. But anyway, now let's look at the ramp, right? So this is a V ramp, and so this would be normally spread along the V direction of a surface, depending how the UVs are laid out. You could have a U ramp, and it would change that, how it's laid out, so you can see it changing up here. So just sort of the orientation of the ramp relative to the surface of an object. What we want to do is have 
one color appear, so one end of the ramp, be applied to the surface where the normals are facing away from us. So if I grab this object and go to display polygons, face normals, I'm going to make them bigger. How do I do that? Normal size. Too big. I'm just going to go back into one mode. That doesn't make a difference. So you can see that faces here, like this one is pointing more towards the camera than these ones on the side. They're pointing um, perpendicular to the, uh, the vector of view from the camera. So we can say the ones where the normals are pointing sort of more perpendicular to the view of the camera, we can apply one of those ramp, one side of the ramp. And for parts of the, norm, the surface where the normals are facing more towards the camera, then we can use the other side of the ramp, right? And so to do that, we can hook up sampler info facing ratio to ramp. And the thing we need is not here, so we can just say other. We want to hook it up to the V coordinate. Now, if we take this and we can hook it up to anything really, uh, I can hook this up to, let's say, the color of the diffuse. And if I go in and change this ramp color, it's not showing up on my screen. So let's just put an Arnold light in here and open the render view. Right, so you can kind of see what's going on here. I want to make sure I don't have any specular. I'm going to turn that off. So where it's facing the camera, it's white. Where the surfaces are turning away from the camera, it's black. Right. So we can go into the ramp, we can alter this, we can reverse it. So if you want to make this kind of nice backlit sort of thing without any lights really doing this for us, there are lights in the scene, but or making a scanning electron micrograph kind of look, we can do something like this. So that's really the essentials of a Fresnel shader or a texture when you build it yourself in Maya. You can change these colors, of course, to anything. You know, it doesn't just have to be black and white. And with the ramp, you can put more colors in here. So you could go from blue to red to, I don't know, green. Right, so we can do things like this, make these sort of false colored images. So there are plenty of interesting things you can do. And no matter what your camera view is, the normal uh, relationship to the camera will sort of be changing and it will change the, the nature of the shader as it renders out. So I was experimenting with this and I kind of found an interesting thing that you can do here. So I'm going to disconnect this. Actually, I'm going to make my ramp go back to normal. Just go from black to white. I think I have to re-render the scene. Okay, why is it doing that? Oh, because I broke the connection. Um, so let me just hook that back up to diffuse color. Right, so we get something like that. But if we break this connection and I'm going to turn my color back up to white so I just get something like this. I'm going to delete the light in the scene so I've just got nothing now. But you can hook this up to the emission quality on this shader. And I think there's an emission on the AI standard too. And I think I want to hook this up to strength. Right? So if I do that then it's emitting this color as a light. So I actually don't have any lights in the scene. I'm going to reverse this so we get the, the white 
on the outside. Right, so we can do something like this. And in some ways it makes kind of a fake subsurface scattering as if it's lit from the inside. And now if I go in and go to the AL surface and add color to the, uh, to the diffuse, we get this kind of nice, as if it's lit from inside kind of look. So I'm using a bright color like this. I can change it to, I don't know, green, get the same sort of effect. And if I wanted to, I could make the outer color the green. And so what I think is happening here is that the um, there's no light in the scene at all now, but the emission color actually casts light into the scene. So this thing is essentially lighting itself now. And where it's facing towards us, we're getting black where there's no lighting at all. But in some of these areas, we're getting some of the lights. So it's kind of a, an interesting effect. I like it better with red. Or what about orange? No, red seems to be more effective. So this almost makes a subsurface scattering sort of sort of feel. And you could go in and experiment with this. Like what if I change this color to red? Well that doesn't help. So it works better when that's white. It looks like sort of the shiny membrane on the surface. Anyway. That is the Fresnel shader. It can allow you to do lots of interesting things. Sampler info to the V coordinate of ramp to whatever you want in your shader. Thanks.